All right, guys. We got. Do you remember what we started with? Um, two seventy-five. It was two seventy-five, but because I had took forty bucks out of there, so yeah. three fifteen. Three fifteen. Yay. So we have a total of nine hundred and forty-five dollars. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming to another entrepreneur video, and this is the third episode of reselling liquidation pallets with my girl. A quick recap. We bought our first liquidation pallets from the homie BP liquidation pallets in Fresno and Visalia. And just letting you guys know, they do have a YouTube channel where they're sharing a lot of free night night knowledge on the liquidation game. Go show them some love in the description below. And we got our first pallet. We put it together, posted it on Facebook Marketplace, and it was going pretty good. We made 300 back out of the 500 that we spent. So $200 more to just break even but we're about to have a yard sale. And the question is, are we gonna get sales? Are we gonna break even? Am I gonna have to choke slam an old Mexican lady for hustling us? You're about to find out. Good morning, everybody. All right, today's Sunday, yesterday. How do you think it went, babe? I think it went pretty decent. Yeah? Yeah. We only sold one thing. From the stuff, I know. Being bike. I know. You know, but she did put a lot of clothes out, some toys. I don't know. How are you feeling about this? Like yard sales is not the place we should be selling big items like that. Right. And we're trying to, we're actually trying to make money out of it. Yeah. You know, I feel like a lot of people are over here trying to find a deal. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you about the lady yesterday. I'll tell you after that. You want it on camera? Yeah, sure. What? The clothes. You know, we told her a dollar a piece. Mm -hmm. the, the one that was like, she was talking smack, but she yeah. was joking, talking smack. Yeah. Well, you went inside and she mm -hmm. started putting the clothes in the bag, counting it, and we told her a dollar a piece, and she gave, tells me, you give me the small stuff for 50 cents? So then she starts counting the smaller shirts as 50 cents and just threw it in the bag. And I was yeah. like, um, Okay, yeah. <laughs> She's a pro. She's a pro yard seller. Right there. Yeah, because she didn't even give me a chance to say no. She just yeah. started counting it and throwing it in the bag. So I was like, I'm not going to say anything. It was it was all clothes I don't use anyway. Yeah. So it was fine. <laughs> all right. But uh, we're at $440 right now. So we made some money. See how it goes today. So the question is, are we buy more pallets or not? I do want to. Yeah. But... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Costway is the way to go if we're trying to make money and only because they're big things mm -hmm. and people want them for like 10 bucks. Brand new. They don't care. They, to them, they think it's used. Mm. So they don't want to pay the prices we're giving. And that's because we're giving them good discounts. So you know what? That's why I feel like next time we got to buy two different type of pallets. One big, one small. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think too. All right, guys. So we'll see how today goes Sundays. And uh, we'll keep you updated. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up with my girl right here? Hey, so, first of all, how do you think the yard sale went? What? It was <laughs> what? All right, we didn't sell a lot. But you know what? It was Mother's Day weekend. Sunday, we only said a few hours because, I mean, it was Mother's Day. And nobody showed up. Nobody showed up. But we were, how much money did we have? 550 Oh, yeah. Five. 560, 465. There you go, there you go. 515. 515. All right, there we go, guys. So, I really want to test this business out to see if it worked. We made our money back. Yes. And it was all right. So what are we doing today, babe? We're gonna go get two more. What's the game plan? What, what kind of pallets are we looking for? So we're looking for the uh, Costaway one again, just because the big items, I mean, yeah, they're gonna sell, not for what we'd like, but we know they're gonna sell. Um, and we're gonna try some small, some Amazon or something. Mm -hmm. Yay. So let's go. And you know where we're going? We're going to BP Palette in Fresno, Visalia, California. They're still supporting your boy. Go show him some love. Let's go. All right, guys, we're right here at BP Liquidation Palette. We're gonna check out, they got a lot of bikes, but we're not looking for bikes today. We're gonna go look, look inside, see what pallets we could buy. So, one thing we like about here in BP Pallets Liquidation, BP Liquidation Pallets, is that they let you look through the codes and you can spend all day looking through stuff. Look up the code and see what 
and see what you get and look what we got so far. We got to it. We got to. It's this one's it. That's it. This what do you think it is? What kind of like this stuff, huh? This is it. I'm like trying to squeeze it. You need to get me the codes, we. What, babe? Another one. Another what? And there's something good. Yeah? Yeah, 200 bucks. Where is it? Let's see. 200? Almost. That's what's well, going 190. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not the lowest. I'm sure there's lower. Yeah, fine. Wait, we will make our money back already. And there's still a lot. Oh yeah, that's I haven't even done this box. And then there's more back there. All right, guys, we just picked out two pallets. We feel pretty confident on it. We're actually gonna go rent a U-Haul real quick. Okay, that's what we're gonna use to transport them. All right, guys, the homies over here, Antonio, hooked it up. He put everything inside. It fit. Ten foot van. Now the cost of the U-Haul is hundred thirty-seven dollars. Man. I should have made it with my mother-in-law so I could borrow her truck, you know? But that's right. Let's go home. Let me show you what we got. Yo, guys, this is what we have. We have a lot of scales, some thermal laminators, a lot of scales. Someone's, someone's trying to throw me hints over here. We got this box full of stuff, that box full of stuff. So, the top of the pallet, that we're gonna get a lot of kitchen, uh, bathroom stuff, you know? Yeah. And we did. But then at the bottom, school stuff? Like a lot of school stuff. I feel like art stuff. There's like notebooks, birthday stuff, regular books. You know what? I feel like this is more like yard sale stuff. Yeah. Like the big stuff yeah, was for Facebook Marketplace. This stuff, quick 50 cents or so. But we're going to make a profit out of this one, you know? Yeah, we'll see. If anything, honestly, right now, I'm thinking with it. If, if anything, make our money back at least. All right, there you guys go. We're going to take these down and start posting. All right, guys. First item we got is a washing machine. How much is it going for, babe? 200 bucks. Now, we do have a dryer for my last pallet. What's the game plan? Sell them together at a cheaper price and hope that somebody buys both. <laughs> got it, got it. All right. But we have another washing machine that I saw. You think so? Yeah, because there was another box with the exact same number on it. All right, guys. But we're going to post this one up. Maybe the other one. Yay. Yay. Oh. I'm pictures right now. And look how many crimes we got, guys. Oh, that's not even a hollow. Cheese. <laughs> All right, guys. So. We're starting to get some sales. No, we sold one of those lazy chairs type of thing. And then the dryer from our previous pallet, selling it for 115 on offer up. Someone's coming right now to check it out. You know, one thing we're getting a lot is people asking if it's available and we tell them it is, and then they ghost us. You guys who have been reselling for a while, is that just part of the game? Are we doing something wrong? Let us know in the comments below. And also, right now it's about to be nine in the evening, nighttime already. Is that too late for someone to pick up? You know? All right, guys, just want to let you guys know one thing you're going to have to get used to having boxes and products everywhere. Yo, good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful Saturday. And guess what? We're having another yard sale. That's right. We have a lot of stuff. We're about to set up. It's 6.30 in the morning. How you feeling, baby? How you feeling? Um, too confident, but we'll see. <laughs> what, what's the goal for today? Um, at least 100 bucks. Sell some of the Walmart stuff that we got. Yeah. New Walmart stuff. Um, but we'll see, I guess. Hey, we've been, where are we at right now with money? We are way at 3.15 is what we've made. And then, Someone's gonna pick up a washer today, hopefully, yeah. for 100 she bucks. She already messaged me for the address. Oh yeah? At like 6.20 this morning. Hey, washers and dryers, bro, they're selling for apartments. Mm -hmm. You gotta get more. All right, guys. You think we're gonna make it like 500 bucks? We mm -hmm. kinda need to make 500 I'm bucks. I think we will. 500 bucks right now, or yeah. like 500 bucks total, what we already, including what we already have? I'd like to make at least $1,000 back. 
Well, no, of course. But yeah. I thought you meant like the end of the goal today. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be great. That's the goal for today. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show a lot of leg today to attract a lot of people. So, we got a lot of stuff. This is Walmart stuff right here, guys. Look at all them scales we got. We got like 16 scales. Chairs we got. Oh, yeah, baby. We still got a little bit of stuff in the last pallet. This is one of the desks we got. And here's another desk my girl put together. We're trying to sell for a hundred bucks. But will anybody buy a desk for a hundred bucks at a yard sale? We'll find out. Stick around. How's it going, dude? How's it going? Good. We're getting really a lot good. of action, huh? Yeah. But we're getting a lot of hustlers for We've all. only been out here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We got hustles for those blue chairs, but you know, it is. It, they're 140. We put it down for $40. She wanted 30. We made at 35. I'm not gonna help her load her up. So, we started what, at seven, babe? Huh? We started like at seven? Yeah, um, yeah. I went to go put up the signs and it was 7.13. 7.13, so less than an hour. Big rush. Let's see how much we made so far. If we get back to a thousand, Oh, somebody came to pick up the washer right now? Yeah, so that was already a hundo. All right, guys. So, what time is it? 8.44. We got another little rush. They come in little yeah, rushes, yeah, huh? Yeah, really good rush. All right, so, we're seeing, we're selling a lot of small stuff. The underwear, the crayons, books, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, shower the shower caddies. Mm -hmm. So, my girl's saying we should get another small I don't want to get small things because, yeah, we're selling our yard sale at low ball, the low ballers, bro. I know. Oh my goodness. And yeah. the comments they make. <laughs> yeah. So like, for example, this guy wanted to buy all the remaining pair of underwear for $35, but they've been selling. But anyways, but with the big stuff, yeah, it's not that many, but we get way more money out of it. Yeah, true. You know, over time. And the smalls, whatever we have left over. I don't think we're going to get $500 from this. What you do you don't think? think so? You I, think so? I think we will. If we haven't, if we don't sell everything today, and we have another yard sale, I'm confident that we're going to, we'll make it. We'll make it back. Just we, we just got to keep reinvesting. Yeah. All right. We'll see. Let's see where we're at at the end of this. Okay. All right. We'll see. What do you guys think though? Should we focus on the big stuff that's sent for big money, but there's only a few items? Or... Buy a smalls, like Walmart smalls with small items, buy a lot of items. Let us know in the comments below and we'll keep you updated. Hey, babe, I gotta give you props for it. You're getting down when you speak English, way. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely gotta be like lingual over here in California. Look. My Spanglish is on point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have a little situation. Things are selling. Hey, how many shower caddies do we have? 15, 20? 10, maybe. No, 10? like 15. 15. Like 15 maybe. And we priced it at five dollars. We were down to our last five shower caddies. They were selling, and I told my girl, babe, let's raise the price up to ten dollars. But what, what do you guys think? Huh? What do you guys think? Cause we just sold two, one for ten, one for eight dollars. I don't know. What do you think, man? You think we should cut that five just? To get rid of it? I mean, not just to get rid of it. I feel like they were selling really good at five, and I feel like at ten they may have been iffy. Cause look at the scales. Yeah. How many people did we have asking about the scales? But the moment we gave them the price on the good ones, they left them. Yeah. And then we lowered the price to five dollars for the scales. And we already sold one. We sold one. So you really gotta find out that pricing that people are looking for. But uh, yeah, I raised the price on the caddies, mid yard sale. Going all right, it's going. We got three left. All right, just went to you know, you know. But is that my girl forgot that I went to the University of YouTube, you know, yeah. business school? So I know what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, guys, this is all we have left over right here. One little box, two little boxes, and some stuff. Alright guys, let's see how much money we made at this yard sale. So as you saw, we saw a lot of pretty good stuff. A lot of stuff. You know, I was a little skeptical at the Walmart, cause I'm like, who's gonna buy this stuff? 
<laughs> All Mexican ladies, they buy stuff. <laughs> They're hagglers, but they buy stuff. So, three, four, five, five hundred. All right, guys, we got, do you remember what we started with? Um, 275? Three, it was 275, but because I had took 40 bucks out of there, so yeah. 315. 315. Yay. So we have a total of 900 and $45 this close to our thousand dollar goal. I think we hit it. We still have a couple more items that we're selling on Facebook Marketplace. Of course, you gotta take into consideration the Yuha, which was $150 because they charged me an extra $16 for the gas. I didn't put gas at the end of it. So just remember that. So babe, what's the game plan? What are you thinking? Uh, I feel like the yard sale really hit like really, really good. It did, but mm -hmm. we were selling stuff way lower. For example, the blue chairs. Yeah, that lady bamboozled us good. She, we asked for 40, she wanted 30, we, we set our 35, but somebody hit you up on, on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, but it was a scam. Oh, was it? Yeah, after, after I, I marked it as sold, they messaged back saying, okay, well I want it, text me. Oh. Yeah, and I already know those, yeah. Never mind. So, what are we gonna do with these thousand dollars, baby? What are you thinking? I don't know. See, I really, really liked doing the yard sale. Yeah. I like it, it's fun. Um, And it kinda, you know, it goes with, it like it, it makes, has, I do something on my Saturday. Yeah. But, I just don't like the swindlers. <laughs> they're rough, they're rough. <laughs> It doesn't happen often though. There's some people that didn't even hesitate to Yeah, pay yeah, them. exactly. They didn't even ask to lower, but But the small stuff really sold. That was yourself. really sold. The big stuff didn't sell that well. You know, we still got a couple deaths. So are we buying more pallets or we're we gonna wait? I feel like we should buy another small one. You think so? I think so, but only because they hit at the yard sales yeah. really well. The big stuff I do feel like we make more money with the big stuff, and they set, but they take a lot longer to sell. Mm -hmm. Like a lot longer. Because mm -hmm. look, I've posted the desks already for about, a, well, I mean like sometime, what? Nobody, not one person has messaged. Dang. All right, guys. Or we get big stuff and just, I mean, if it has a ton of desks, don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe the desk. Yeah. Because the washers, sold. Sold, quit. Yeah. So here's where we're at. We're trying to see what sells in our area, what sells quick, what sells for the most profit. But we're definitely gonna continue this. So if you wanna follow us on the journey, see how far we could take this, press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.